What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Comment of the day is popping up on the screen right now. So if you ever want to be featured in a video sometime throughout this video, after the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video, what's going on with your day, just something positive. Just drop something down below and it might get featured in the next video. But today I've been thinking a lot lately and I've got some powder coat thanks to Prismatic Powders. Uh, I'll have a link in the very top of the description. You guys can go click and go check out their website. But they sent out some Shocker Yellow that we're using on the F-150, and they sent out some Pika Blue. Now, I am going to be doing this Pika Blue in my engine bay on the F-150. I'm doing all valve covers, intake, everything like that in that Pika Blue. So whenever you pop the hood, it's nice and pretty in there. I put the Pika Blue up next to the 7.3 and i just i loved the color of it next to it i was going to do a red or like a turquoise with the gold underneath and i don't know that that blue just hits hits pretty good with it but i want to see it on a bigger scale so if you guys watched the sandblasting video you guys saw that i sandblasted a hitch to test out the sandblasting gun that i made which is this wonderful thing right here so if you guys missed that video go check it out after this video but we've got this hitch back here. What a better way to see if I like this color underneath the truck than to do that big hitch. And then I can put it next to it and decide, hey, I like it or I don't like it. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get that sprayed with some polished aluminum, which is our base. And then once it is fully ready, we're gonna spray the Pika Blue on it. And i am got my fingers crossed that I just love the color. So after the use of every powder, I have to clean out my gun and clean out the bottle to then introduce the new powder because you don't want to mix powders uh, that'll mess with the final finish. So I hot flocked uh, a second coat onto the hitch. It's now back in for 12 minutes. Uh, like I said, part temperature has to be 10 minutes at 375. Uh, I don't have an infrared gun to figure out the actual temperature. So I do about 12, 13 minutes. If I look at it and it doesn't look right, I let it go a little bit longer. The first one, I let go for like 18 minutes because I could tell it was not ready yet. So hot flocked it, threw it back in for 12 minutes. I'm gonna clean out my gun now, get our peak of blue put into the gun and then start spraying it. All right, so I haven't taken it out in the sunlight. I'm just looking at it from what light is in the garage. I'm gonna tell you guys now. <laughs> I'm powder coating the stuff on the 7.3, this color. This color is insane. I took a video of it with my phone. The camera does it zero justice. This is a color you have to see in person. So if you guys see this truck at any shows or anything, 
check out the tip, the all the little stuff that you guys see on the channel get powder coated because anything I do on the truck, y'all are gonna see it. So I mean, look at it in person. Make sure you see it in, in some light. Sunlight preferably, that's the, the best lighting is sunlight. But if you have to hold up a flashlight to it, by all means, please do it. This color is beautiful. I'm waiting for the hits to cool down. I'm gonna take it out in the sun, set it on the hood of the truck so we can see the, the color contrast. It's gorgeous. There it is. That I said, camera does not do it justice at all. This color is absolutely insane. Uh, the darker it gets outside, the darker the color gets. When the sun is on it, this is a very, very bright, vibrant blue. It is beautiful. I did not do a great job powder coating it. Uh, very light around these sides. And then on the other side of right in here, this little like flange right here, it's a little light. You can still see the polished aluminum. So you could probably use uh, another coat on it, but it's a hitch. I'm not worried about it. This was just a test piece. And this just led me to believe like, yeah, this is the color that needs to be underneath this truck. Uh, I'm, I'm out of time to do the tip tonight. So I will definitely be doing that tomorrow. It'll be in this video. So don't, don't click off yet. I'm gonna be doing that tip tomorrow. So we'll have the entire eight inch tip and pika blue and i am excited i think excited is kind of an understatement but i've had mixed reviews people tell me oh don't powder coat the tip uh it gets too hot blah 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 Dude, there's too many companies in business making aftermarket tips that are powder coated tips can be powder coated it's okay i'm i'm gonna powder coat that and it's it's gonna look good uh it's not like it's getting 800 degrees or anything like that so i'm not worried about it I'll catch you guys tomorrow when we're powder coating that tip, but this blue just looks insane. I love it. I wasted a lot of time and energy on this exhaust tip and it needs to be redone. It looks great. Th this is obvious. It does look fantastic, but we walk over like this, get them both in the same frame. You can tell this is darker than that. Uh, and it's because I had to do like four coats of the blue on here for whatever reason, I kept having issues. I did the polished aluminum that was completely even all the way through. And then I did this. I did the first coat of Pita blue and I thought I had it done. I took the tip off the rack. I walked out here and the whole bottom of it was still like very thin, like the powder didn't stick to it. So I was like, okay, I'll just redo that part. And I redid the bottom, baked it, brought it out, and the top was like textured and thinner because you know there was more blue on the bottom than there was the top. So I was like, damn it. So I redid the entire thing and that's where we're at now. It's glossy, it looks good, but it's darker and I don't like that. So. I'm gonna run it for it like that now. I wasted probably a pound of powder on this, uh, just this eight inch exhaust tip. So <laughs> I'm gonna give it a break for a little while. I am completely blue. My entire body is blue. My entire garage and driveway are blue. So I'm gonna give that a, a break for a little while. But I'm gonna end the video off here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video, any tips you have for me for powder coating, what you like about the channel, how your day's going, how your life's going, anything like that. And it might just get featured in the next video for the comment of the day. So I love you all. Thank you for making it at the end of the video. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate you guys. Be fucking great. Peace out.